whose idea it was to sell everything, get <laughs> off land, and live in the Caribbean on the boat? Whose idea was that? I'm going to start with Amanda. Originally his, um, but I was on board pretty quickly. Yeah, why, we, why, why, Amanda? Why, why, why were you on board? Well, I love the water, love the ocean. Um, and we were in Texas, so that was a little too landlocked for us. Um, that we started sailing several, several years ago. He can talk more about that um, and just fell in love with it. And we're doing it for vacations as much as we could. So decided to try it full time. Well, the vacation turned into, well, the vacation was a hobby and the hobby turned into like, this is what we're doing full time now. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And a little bit about your background. What, what do you guys do for a living prior to this, this journey? <laughs> Um, so we're still working. I'm still working. He's trying to stop. Um, but I'm in forensic psychology and I do a lot of background work on legal cases, both mm -hmm. civil and criminal. So a lot of that I learned that I could do remotely during COVID and right. have just continued to do so. Yeah. And what about you, Chris? So, um, you know, I'm in technology. I was the CTO of a, of a software company and, um, it was, you know, these are all kind of intertwined together. Um, you know, you, I spent most of my life working really, really hard. And so um, uh, I've got that. I've been having that desire for many, many years that I just needed a break. How, how long have you guys been married? 29. Oh, I should have let him that answer. But 29 years. <laughs> okay, because you, you wanted to know if he actually know the date. So you guys have been married 20, 29 years, right? Yeah. So this is something you get to do with your best friend. This is probably yeah. the ideal I mean, if you had some to pick someone to do it, you're doing it with your best friend, Chris. Yeah. And by the way, if you're going to live on a boat and we have like, as a pretty good sized boat, um, but if you're going to be on the boat for any length of time with anybody, even three days, <laughs> they better be your best friend yeah. uh, because you can't run away. Right. I mean, we're in the middle of the ocean right now. If we got mad at each other, it <laughs> we got to resolve it um, right. because we are stuck. Yeah. But I like being stuck with her. Before you even, you guys did some sailing before, right? Before you even decide to even jump into full time. Where did typically when you go sailing, where did you guys go prior to jumping into this full time? Go ahead. <laughs> um, all right, so our very first sailing trip, uh, my first time to step on a sailboat really mm -hmm. was in 2014. So not that long ago. Um, and that was in the British Virgin Islands or BVI. And that's where I fell in love with island life, I fell in love with sailing. We fell in love, sorry, yeah. we, we. And that is our favorite place still in the world right now. Okay. What happened, well, maybe you get into that later, but the name of the boat is called Happy Here for a reason. Mm -hmm. When we weren't chartering a boat, when we weren't on the boat in the water around an island, right. I became very unhappy. Nah, unhappy is not the right word, unhappy. but I, I became restless, right? And so Happy Here was like, it, it's two things. One. We're happy to be here, right? It's a, it was a long journey to get here. And two, we always want to remember that in the moment, you know, to, to focus on trying to be happy, enjoy life. So, but some people are not wired that way. And lo most of those people are not. They, they can't, I don't even, I don't think a lot of them can even relax like we do. What, well, you what, couldn't either. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I couldn't either. It, it wasn't that long ago where I was like that. And now I'm just, I see life differently. What, what, what made you wind down? A couple things happened, um, but if I was going to nail it down to one thing, so I got COVID twice. Um, the first time was not good. It took me about six months to recover. Uh -huh. And then I got it. Uh, the reason that we actually have the boat, uh, January of last year, I got COVID a second time and it was, it was not good. My God, there was a, there was a moment where I thought I could close my eyes and not wake up. And that was what clicked in my mind. And when I, when I came out of that a few weeks later, I started shopping for a boat. So I, by the way, I didn't ask permission from work. I didn't ask, I didn't tell the board of directors. I just went and bought a boat. We, from the moment I decided this is what we're doing. It was quick. We had a boat within three months. Show us a view of that Caribbean, please. All right. Sure, sure. All right, let's see here. Oh, yeah, I'll take you out the back. Let's see. Oh man, look at that. Chris, look at that view, sir. So I don't know if you can see out here, but Saba 
uh, the big volcano island is still out there about, I don't know, maybe 100 miles. Uh-huh. Can't see St. Martin from that direction. Right. Then you walk over here and you can see the sun might be too much. That's where we're going. <laughs> so wow. there's basically nothing around us. In the middle of the Caribbean Sea. Oh, yeah. Well, and you can see this. We got our sails up. See those. Uh, trying to do the reverse. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Cool. Cool. And you guys are expected to be where you're going in the next, what, 13 hours, you say? Uh, right now, it says 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning? <laughs> I hope that speeds up. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's better wind. Yeah, we slowed down a little bit, and we haven't been trimming the sails while we've been talking, so we'll go adjust some things. We'll probably pick a different line, and hopefully we're rolling around 3 in the morning. Okay. We left at uh, almost 9 this morning. Okay, and when you get off here, I'm sure, do you guys sleep between that time? We both, yeah, we, took, we both took turns taking a quick nap while the other one was watching. And we'll, this evening, we'll both kind of do a shift, taking turns. Yeah, probably. we do four-hour shifts, so I'll sleep. Um, for four hours, well, or as much as you can, and then just basically rotate. That's what okay. you have to do because you, if you're not looking around every 15 minutes, they got cruise ships out here, cargo tankers, ships. cargo ships, and if you're not paying attention, a lot of times those big ships are on autopilot, and you know disasters just waiting. So you got to be alert. 